With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, where will the minute hand of a clock stop if first part is it starts at 12 and makes half of a revolution clockwise so first of all let us see how many degrees are there in a revolution so if a minute hand starts at 12 and come back to 12 it will capture it will rotate how many degrees it will rotate whole 360 degree so in a revolution we have 360 degrees covered so in the first part it is saying that it starts at 12 and making half of a revolution so half of a revolution means half of 360 degree that is equal to 180 degree and it is saying it is clockwise so it is CW means clockwise 180 degree so if we say that it is moving it is at 12 and it makes half of a revolution that means it has to cover 180 degree so it should cover 180 degree that means it should be at 6 so it will end up at 6 now let's move to second part let's erase this for the second part now second part is if it starts at 2 so the minute hand is at 2 it starts at 2 and makes half of a revolution and half of a revolution we know that is 180 degree again and it is also clockwise so if we it if it makes 180 degree angle so it will end up in at 8 so it will be at 8 so let's move to third part let's remove this for the third part so the third part for third part it is it is saying that it starts at 5 and makes one fourth of the revolution so first of all let us see what is one fourth of a revolution so one fourth of 360 degree is if you cut it by 4 it is 90 degree and it is also saying that it is clockwise so it is also clockwise so let us draw this here it is saying that it starts at 5 so it is at 5 and it is making 90 degree angle so if it makes 90 degree angle so it will make 90 degree angle that that means it will end up at 8 only so 90 degree means it will again end up at 8 only let's move to part 4 let's erase it for part 4 so part 4 is saying that it starts at 5 and makes 3 fourth of a revolution clockwise so let us find what is 3 fourth of a revolution 3 4 of 360 degree so it is 3 into 90 degree that is equal to 270 degree clockwise 270 degree clockwise so let us draw this on the figure so it is at 5 at the initial position it is at 5 and it is moving 270 degrees so let us first move it 180 degrees so if we move 180 degrees it will be some it will be at 11 so 180 degrees is completed now we have to move it another 90 degree so that it is it completes its 270 degrees so we remove this now we have to move it another 90 degrees so with another 90 degrees it will be like this so it will move another 90 degrees and it will reach at 2 so it will end up at 2 this is a required answer here in the last part first we have moved it 180 degrees and then we have also moved it 90 degrees that will become 270 degrees
So that completes our answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.